Hello students, welcome to the 12th class in partial differential equations. So in the previous lecture, we have discussed the type 4 which was based on rule 4 for solving the partial differential equations. In this video lecture, we will discuss few more examples so as to make the things clear. So in case if you have not watched the previous video, go back, watch that lecture and come back again to this lecture. So let's start without wasting a minute. Let me take a very interesting problem and let's try to, you know, figure out how we can solve such partial differential equations using this type 4. So the question is solve x square minus y square minus z square multiplied with p plus 2xy into q equals to 2xz. So that is the question and we are interested to solve this partial differential equations. So the first step as we all know that we have to convert this into the auxiliary equation Lagrange auxiliary equation. So the solution goes like so you have to convert this into the Lagrange auxiliary equation. So what will be the Lagrange auxiliary equation corresponding to this? So clearly it will be dx divided by x square minus y square minus z square. This will be equals to dy divided by 2xy which will be equal to dz divided by 2xz. First step is we have to compare the last two fractions and if I compare the last two fractions so what do I get just see to here so that is a dy divided by 2xy equals to dz divided by 2xz. So 2 and 2 get cancelled out x and x get cancelled out so what do I get I get dy by y equals to dz by z. Now if you integrate on both sides what do I get this is nothing but log of y this is log of z plus some constant log of c1. Bring all the terms on one side so what it will be this will be log y minus log z equals to log of c1. Now just apply the properties of log so we all know what, what is that property the property says log of a minus log of b is nothing but log of a by b. So applying this property what do I get? I get log of y by z equals to log of c1 or or y by z equals to c1 that is y equals to z into some c1. So, so let me to mark this as the first solution. So let me to mark this as equation number one. Now going back to again this equation observe the Lagrange auxiliary equation. Now if I consider the multipliers as x y and z so just observe what will happen so if i consider the lagrange multipliers to be x y and z what will happen it will be x into dx plus y into dy plus z into dz whole divided by so what was in the denominator part just see to this x square minus y square minus z square so this thing will be multiplied with x right so x multiplied with x square minus y square minus z square right plus y times y times so that is a 2xy plus z times that is 2xz now this thing is equal to now just you know solve solve it out so this will be dx so on solving what do we get x dx plus y dy plus z dz now just open up these terms so if you open up these terms what do you get this is x cube minus xy square minus xz square plus 2xy square plus 2xz square so that is what do you get right now what is this thing equal to this is nothing but x dx plus y dy plus z dz whole divided by now this is xy square so xy square plus 2 minus 1 so overall it will be plus xy square similarly for this one also you will get plus xz square can you see thing now observe one thing very carefully you can take x common from the this is a denominator part now what do you get so let me to rewrite all these terms again so this will be x common so this is x square plus y square plus z square now can you see can you observe one thing so here we have the derivative and here is the function right but one thing is missing what is that missing that is a 2 so just multiply and divide by 2 now this is one of the factor now you can compare this with any of the fraction let me to compare this with 
third one. So what is the third? That is dz upon 2xz. So 2x and will get cancelled out. And now the derivative in the numerator and the function in the denominator on both sides. So all of us know if you take integration on both sides. So what do you get? You get nothing but the log of x square plus y square plus z square, right, is equals to log of z plus log of c2. And now if you bring the terms on one side, so this will be log of x square plus y square plus z square minus log of z is equals to log of c2. Right? And now apply the property of log again. So this will be log of x square plus y square plus z square divide by z equals to some log of c2. Right? Cancel out the terms. So what do you get? That is x square plus y square plus z square divide by z equals to c2. And now mark this as equation number 2. So that is the second solution. And in the beginning, this was the first solution, right? Combining both the results. So you get the desired solution for the equation. So, and what is the solution? So, therefore, the solution is phi of, so that is nothing but y by z, comma, x square plus y square plus z square whole divided by z. This is equals to 0, where phi being an arbitrary function. Right. So I hope this example is clear and the concept which we have discussed in the last class is clear to you now. Now let me take one more example. So the example is solve x square minus y square minus y z multiplied with p plus x square minus y square minus z x multiplied with q is equals to z times x minus y. Again, you will follow the same approach. So first of all, you have to write the Lagrange auxiliary equation. So corresponding to this, the Lagrange auxiliary equation will be dx divided by x square minus y square minus yz. This is equals to dy divided by x square minus y square minus zx. This thing is equals to dz divided by z times x minus y. Now, if I choose the, now if I choose the, Lagrange multipliers to be so choose the Lagrange multipliers as so what are they 1 minus 1 and 0 so see observe carefully what will happen so if you multiply the first one with 1 the second one with minus 1 and the last one with 0 so no need to write this out and now if you subtract the denominator part so what do you get so this is minus times x squared so let me to write this one time so that you can avoid any kind of errors so what this thing will be equal to this thing will be dx minus dy divided by x square minus y square minus yz minus x square plus y square plus zx. Now see this x square and x square get cancelled out z y square and y square will get cancelled out. So this thing is nothing but dx minus dy divided by now take z common so this will be x minus y right. Now if you compare this you know fraction just observe this thing very carefully with the last one. So compare the two fractions. So let me to rewrite again. So on comparing. So what do we get? On comparing we get dz divided by z into x minus y is equals to dx minus dy divided by z times x minus y. Right? Now just cancel out the terms and what do you get? Integrate on both sides now. And once you do the integration, you get nothing but z is equals to x minus y plus some constant c1. Bring all the terms on one side. So this is nothing but c1. Mark this as equation number one. Right. So that is the first solution. For the second one, now let me to consider again some set of Lagrange multipliers. So choosing the Lagrange multipliers to be x minus y comma zero. So most of you will be thinking that how I am writing all these Lagrange multipliers. So again, the answer is very simple. You have to practice maximum number of questions. So once you start solving maximum number of questions, you will get an intuition how to, you know, uh, find out these Lagrange multipliers. Again, this is very hit and trial. So I was observing that these terms were same. So if I cancel out these terms, so you will be getting something in, you know, uh, it taking Z as a common and something X minus Y types. 
So I choose the Lagrange multiplier to be 1 minus 1 and comma 0. Again, in the same way, if I choose the Lagrange multiplier to be x minus y and 0, what do I get? Again, hit and trial. So this is x times dx minus y times dy. What do you get in the denominator part? So in the denominator part, this is x times x square minus y square minus yz minus y times. So what was in the denominator of this dy? So that is x square minus y square minus zx. Now let us rearrange all these terms and try to figure out if we get something common. So this is x dx minus y dy divided by x cube minus xy square minus xyz minus x square y plus y cube plus xyz. So, so on solving this we get these terms. So see this will get cancelled out right and now take the first and the third one. What do you get? So this is equals to x dx minus y dy divide by so x cube minus x square y plus y cube minus x y square so re just rearranging the terms right so what is my idea i just want to create the derivative kind of thing right so if you take x square common so what do you get so this is nothing but x minus y similarly if you take y square common so this is y minus x right so overall what do you get overall what do we get from here what do i get so this is so what do we get so this is x dx minus y dy right whole divide by now if you take x minus y to be common so this will be x square and here you will be leaving out a negative sign right so x square minus y square and now if i compare this with this term so if i compare now this thing with the term dz divided by z times x minus y so what do i get so x minus y x minus y will get cancelled out right and what is the derivative of this so this is 2x dx minus 2y dy so what is missing so that is only 2 so multiply by 2 and divide by 2 right divide by 2. now just take this to this side so what do i get so this is if i rearrange the terms club these terms so this is 2x dx minus 2y dy divide by x square minus y square this thing is equals to 2 times dz by z and now we are capable to integrate on both sides because clearly we can see the derivative in the numerator and the function in the denominator and same is the case in this side and the derivative and the integration in this case is nothing but the log of x square minus y square is equals to log of z and there is a 2 here okay plus some log of constant c2 and now log of x square minus y square is equals to log of z square because we know one property that is n log m is nothing but log of m raised to power m plus log of some c2 and now what do i want i want log of so this is log of x square minus y square minus log of z square is equals to log of some c2 just apply the property of log so this is x square minus y square divided by z square so this property we have applied for n number of times so i think now this property is clear to you now so mark this as equation number two already we have found the equation number one so the final solution that can be written so that is the final solution is nothing but phi of so this is x square minus y square divided by z square comma z minus x plus y is equals to zero where phi being any arbitrary function. And that's all for this video lecture. For in the upcoming video lectures, we will be discussing few more problems which are based on type 4. I know this type is a bit confusing and it requires a lot of practice. So I'll be uploading one more video which will be tackling questions which are based on type 4. I hope you have enjoyed this video session. For more such videos, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. Thank you so much students. Thank you.